Uh, hello traders it's Samurai Trader here I tried to uh, get on and record this so it's a little slow off the mark and it moved ended up moving fairly quickly uh, I just uh, took this was really a t3 on the anchor chart 2 so I took this as a t3 so if we look at the anchor chart 2 we had um, uh, major uh, uh, look we had major divergence so it was also a major divergence trade uh, and look at that massive angulation now traders it is a higher risk trade and we've been in a very solid downtrend now I went for a, an extra large target on this one so we're up 600 uh, on the uh, ATM uh, that's 579 after commissions so I exited at the 89 now why did I exit at the 89 it was a couple of ticks below was actually two points below the 34 EMA on the anchor chart one so on the anchor chart one at that time it was actually up there at 72 and the uh, 89 was down there at um, showing there at 70 so I went for the 89 EMA we rallied up there and we hit the 89 so my target is $1,000 a day on five lots so I'm already up uh, $500 so we'll just look for some more trade so I may pause in between but just on the way down so in my part of the world it's uh, 5:33 p.m. it's 1:33 uh, a.m. Uh, central standard time and we've just uh, so I've just stepped in and look at the amount of uh, potential trades off trending EMAs that we've had on the way down now just to pull up the disclaimer we do know there is a risk in trading uh, so very quickly uh, uh, so my target is a thousand dollars a day what you see here of course you can apply to any market whether it be futures Forex or stocks uh, we do know there's a risk in trading of course you can pause the recording to read the disclaimer uh, so what I'm really looking for the key uh, points here are uh, do I have a rule of one whoops and uh, do I have a setup setting up here let me just get this uh, put in place now this is quite uh, I'll, I'll look I'll just leave this here for a minute I'm just um, looking at this as a potential trade just here and 72.50 look I've just gone long on this and we'll just see how I go up to the pivot because we've got such a strong reversal here and it's also a t20-1 now I do have a 14 tick stop let me move this up here uh, and I'll just look so I've got quite a uh, so I've just tightened my stop up and we'll just see if we can continue here uh, up to the pivot as a minimum so once I hit the pivot I will go to break even so we've got a t20-1 my long-term stochastic is trending up nicely so uh, let's just see how we go here once I get up to the pivot I will go to break if I'm not already at break even by then so my break even uh, I've got it set up at plus 12 that's right so my target is actually uh, 14 ticks so quite often I'll go to break even at plus 10 we'll just see how we go here oops that's not what I meant to do let me just stop this from moving around let me just pull this down so the low of that candle there that little swing there is at 70 look I'll keep my uh, my stop at the moment is two ticks below the, the little swing that I've got uh, just here come on up you come now here we go so all right well I'm a break even anyway look I'm going to bring this up and lock this in at the pivot I'm not going to give anything back here there we go thank you very much okay so uh, and I was about to say perhaps I should extend my target up to the 200 EMA okay so uh, not to be was um, fairly fast moving so that was a nice trend following uh, strategy just to show you something else here that I also had um, I was looking at uh, on another screen straight above 
with this particular setup and it was this so what I had was my hull was also uh, confirming this um, nice little uptrend which I like to use the hull for potential reversals now just here this is a 2 B D short uh, we've also got some really nice divergence here look I'm very hesitant in taking this short just because um, we've had a very deep pullback I've made a higher high so I'm just going to sit on hands for a few minutes also what you'll quite often find when you pull back to the uh, 200 EMA will quite often come down to the 89 and bounce so uh, I'm just going to see what happens here for a moment I'll just sit this one uh, out so deep pullback to 2BD look it is also a bet the farm so I do, look I do have a bet the farm on it but um, just with the amount of angulation so what exactly is angulation here this is angulation okay when we're angling away very very strongly and in fact I'm going to see if I can uh, just take and pick up a few more ticks just here okay now I am filled now this is a higher risk trade now I'll move my stop up just below the swing okay but I did make a higher high so let's just see how I go here see if I can break the 200 come on get up there now the low of that swing candle there now as I said this is a higher risk trade we tend to bounce around between the 200 and the 89 at these levels so the low of that candle there is 70 73.25 I'm down there at uh, look I'll just move it up one more tick this is not looking good I was looking for a continuation so look we'll just see how we go with this I'll just stay with it but I did have a higher high this is a higher low let's just see if I can get some follow-through remembering that uh, on the higher time frames okay uh, we've got also an enormous amount of angulation but we've been in a very strong downtrend now my long-term stochastic is up uh, that's good my hull is up um, uh, perhaps I should have <laughs> perhaps just set this particular trade uh, out now this is actually turning into a t10 so for members watching uh, this and let me just move this up one more tick so I've tucked my stop one tick in below just here so I'm one tick below the swing but it's now a t10 and I've just taken it as a t10 as well so we'll see what happens here so I just took a bit of a beating on that trade but it is a t10 now I've got to get past this 89 EMA these are, as I mentioned ways are higher risk area now if I break this 89 EMA this is the low down down here so I'm actually going to go for a larger target so I'm going to bring my stop back up here give myself plenty of room let me move this out of the way now one thing I do like to do just a matter of interest just to see what sweet now that come back down of a 50% level now uh, so we did have a 50% retracement let me just pull this stop up a little bit below my target just above the 61.8 now I don't always go by the uh, fib levels but it's all, always interesting we quite often will bounce now here I'm bouncing at the moment at the 50% level uh, let's just see what happens here um, what I tend to find will quite often after these very deep uh, or yeah very deep pullbacks will get a bit of a bump at the 50 then come back down if we're going to get a reverse we'll usually come back down to the 61 point eight so I'll be quite happy to exit uh, at the 61.8 let me just uh, remove that now in fact look I'm not going to give all of this back look I'm, I'm going to take look I'm going to get out at that uh, just there all right and we can always take another reversal trade that is we did make a uh, lower low it is a 50% bounce 
okay so let's just uh, see how we go just here so where I got stopped was on this one remember I've been in very strong downtrend so it was a higher risk trade so uh, it did bite me on the hand but never mind remember we've got to think and trade and in probabilities of 20 so that was a 50% retracement just there so let's just see here if we can get a sorry about that just moving my headset see if we can get a another reversal round about here so we're now up 691 after commissions so why if I'd have not I would have could have should have not taken that one and by the way we did get some slippage on our exit there we would have been um, out I would have hit my target of uh, $1,000 on five lots but oh well we'll just stay with this so that was a, a nice t3 a um, nice uh, 1d that was a nice uh, momentum trade basically a t2 that one there look was a 21b look, I had a lot of divergence I was looking for a continuation that was perhaps really taken really perhaps look not perhaps I shouldn't have taken that trade just there that then got me into this trade this was your classic t10 and I would have had a really that would have been a really nice finish to the day but not to worry we'll just uh, wait for another reversal here now we've rallied up to the pivot now just remember we do have uh, a lot a great deal of angulation so what that means is quite often we'll then have a reversion to the mean we'll pull right back in fact and remembering this is a 50% retracement so we could end up with a very deep pullback here and and particularly back to the 89 EMA let's see if I get some resistance up here remembering we are still technically in a downtrend I'm spitting chips I yeah uh, not getting there but uh, taking that one but never mind talking and trading ain't good <laughs> I say this regularly I really don't like um, uh, talking and trading giving commentary now what I can do here is put in a sell stop there at 73.50 now 73.50 is whoops a daisies whoops I'm already filled damn it that was uh, my fault I clicked I took my eye off the ball then never mind uh, what I was looking at um, was putting in the in a sell stop let me just move this down manage this trade okay so now there's a couple of choices you can enter there I entered uh, I clicked once and I didn't get filled so if you ever make a mistake what you can then actually do is just take a haircut if it means just losing a few ticks rather than taking a full stop out now the high of that candle just there is at 76 75 uh, my stop is up there at 77 so ideally that's where I like to have my stop one tick above we tend to find we get a lot of resistance up there at the 200 EMA so uh, that can be be a good spot for support resistance now if we do get a short here pretty good um, chance here that will come right back down to this low here so I'm actually going to increase my target on this trade I'll front run this particular swing so if I can break this 89 EMA just here very good chance now see I've already gone the break even I'm going to pull my stop back up here because I want to give it some wriggle room now we still could find support here by the way all right but uh, uh, we have been in a downtrend so we'll just stay with this I'm looking for a break here I have got a okay we'll just uh, just gonna check out 
good all of that's good now this is also a t10 on the anchor chart one so traders you can see there I've got a nice t10 on the anchor chart one so I'll just stay with this trade now what you could do of course is stay at break even cover your commissions uh, but this is uh, generally a good probability trade coming back down here and retesting this swing so I'll stay with this So you may notice I'm not quite at the low here I'm a, a wee bit above the low so um, uh, this is called front running because there'll be other traders will have the same sort of uh, um, thoughts in mind as well let's uh, exit so uh, I'm front running here so one of the other things as I mentioned you could do is um, you can also uh, cover your trade at this level and then look for price to come up and look for another entry on the way back down in fact um, I might even let's just even do that let's um let's just see what happens here let's just pull our way uh, a stop down to here and just be a good example just to show you what to do so if the price comes up here if we don't get down and hit our target I'll show you how I would re-enter this so my target as I mentioned is a thousand dollars that's two hundred dollars a day per contract uh, on the NQ okay target filled so there we are now just notice this low here okay so just see there we've um, we've ticked down really we were uh, one tick off that low I was a couple of ticks up off that low so we're now filled now I'll just stay with this for a minute longer so we're now up uh, 11.75.50 so it was one two uh, three four we have one two three four five trades four winners and look I, I really shouldn't have taken that one but not to worry so let me just expand this so I'm not going to take any more live trades now I'm quite happy with this uh, so let's have a look at this just here so we're up at uh, 1280 but after commissions that it brings it down to 11.75.50 so I've sort of hit uh, hit my uh, my target now just be aware here's this bounce off the low now what we can actually apply traders is a swing indicator which will just make it easier to identify these levels and just be aware we could get another short now a younger version of me would continue to trade but um, I'm quite happy to hit my uh, daily target and to then finish now all of that was over in what's that uh, that's just say uh, 128 to uh, and less than 20 what's that 25 minutes okay my trading session was over and that suits my personality okay a younger version would say let's keep going and maybe now just here by the way here is a potential short that's also known as a t20-1 now the low of day let me get this out the way now the low of day is down here let me just show you two things so what we could do is go and apply uh, my swing ray indicator there okay now I've got it set to a setting of 14 let me just make it 8 for now and so uh, just take a moment to plot here just count now see this swing so it can help identify these uh, swings so what you tend to do is they can act as great um, targets so when you break a swing Okay, or coming down to a swing a major one you can target those swings sorry let me um, so what I'm actually thinking so you can target the swings now we break this swing this is what I call blue skies ahead remember back um, here and actually one of the slides I didn't have I'll show you actually I might just pause this video for a moment because I want to bring back a slide and show you something so a few minutes ago I said to you that um, uh, I want to make sure we've got blue skies ahead and what do, do I exactly mean by that so what I'm always looking at is where are my pivot levels 
um, uh, and the great thing about most of these of course you've got indicators little plot all of these as I'll show you in a moment so we've got uh, pivot levels where's our prior days open high low and close levels where are our major EMAs the 89 and 200 and you saw how I bounced off the uh, 200 EMA very important levels where are our intraday swing highs and lows and which I just showed you the current days high and low let me just show you this here <clears throat> excuse me so uh, if I just go back to my indicators here and just plot this here uh, now I think most of you watching this are going to be members if you're not a member and you're using NT8 um, and um, all of these are included but in the, in the membership but uh, the bottom line is you can get nearly every one of these indicators now for free on the internet in so many there's so many forums out there etc but just down here this um, magenta line this is the low of day okay so we can see here that throughout the day we've been stair stepping on the way down and you can see how we've been taking out these swing levels on the way down so they can make great uh, great areas to trade uh, or to target so back onto this PowerPoint here so all of these become what we call price magnets so where I say do we have blue skies ahead what I mean is do we have any of those areas directly in front of the trade now remember about the 200 I mentioned look at that there and that's uh, we bounce straight off it we bounce straight off it and this is where really I just should not a bit of a, a brain fart there I just shouldn't have um, jumped in on that trade what I, I'll, I'll show you what I was looking at one of the reasons why I did take that trade was um, this just here I was looking at this massive angulation uh, here on the uh, anchor chart too but this is where sometimes you need to stop and think because what I still had in a downtrend here were major EMAs just above me so as I said I had no business in taking that trade but as you can see we soon worked out mighty fine and the other thing I just wanted to remind everyone you've got you've got to think and trade like a casino and what I mean by that is not to be overly flustered if you have a losing trade if you believe in your setups you've got to be ready to jump straight back in again okay and take a trade now just there that was actually a stop and reverse I virtually took there now I rarely take those that is if I get stopped out on the trade I'll usually just wait for like this one to set up over here but um, I was really looking for it for a deeper pullback now you saw there we had a perfect 50% retracement so you usually find with these deep pullbacks have you had a uh, you know quite often you'll get well that was a 50 I'm usually looking for a 61 okay traders so um, as I mentioned we were uh, up uh, what was that uh, after commissions up uh, 117550 so that's um, uh, 1280 before commission so 11 11.75.50 after comms now see what's happened here we made a uh, higher high we, we had we came down to this low note how by front running see that see how we missed that now the low of that low let me just show you and traders sometimes ask me why I have the data box up well it just allows me to quickly work out where the swing lows are now you've got this basically on every trading platform but uh, you can see there the low of that candle there was 69 we actually come down let me just move that to the side there for a moment we came down low of that was um, one tick above we stopped one tick and my stop or my front run was two ticks above and so you'll see me do that at pivots at major EMAs usually etc and that's front running okay just um, and other traders had exactly the same uh, thought just there now you can see also how the pivot high indicator can work for you it can just help identify as a reminder uh, that you may have a potential reversal oh and what I was saying here don't get too tied to the trade like just there uh, I was saying I was expecting them um, for us to uh, um, come on down uh, but here you can see there 
um, uh, the market reversed again and it pulled back up here for another uh, and we call this actually this is called a 3b that was a 3b if I had have taken that that was actually a 3b D okay and the reason was a 3b D it was after major divergence down here now as you can see this is uh, um, if we had been on that one that would have worked out mighty fine now just start uh, you may be wondering yes I would have taken that trade just there and I would have been stopped on that trade okay uh, but then we would have been straight back on to this one okay now why would have I taken this trade because we were rolling over and on the anchor chart now just to point this out most of you know I trade in the direction of a high time frame and where was that let me just move that along that was it I think uh, just there so I actually would have entered ah no I wouldn't have okay I wouldn't have taken that let me explain something very important to you members you've heard me talk about this in the classes uh, or you hear me talk about this regularly on the anchor chart one notice how the anchor chart one candle closed look at the short-term stochastic the short-term stochastic had not um, hooked so remember when we have a rule of one entry or a rule of one on the anchor chart do we have a short-term stochastic hook no see over here on the anchor chart one candle just there see how I had a short-term stochastic hook see just here I had a short-term stochastic hook see just here that entry I would have had on the I said I would have taken um, well that was before looking at the anchor chart one no we would not have taken that see this sum over here just there in fact let me pause the video and pull this up this is an important uh, trading tip I want to I want to uh, point out to you just a moment okay so this is going to save you a great deal of money so first of all traders if we look at this slide here uh, this is on the YM so this applies to any market so we can see if we had have taken this trade here as a rule of one entry uh, we had the short-term stochastic hook on the entry chart but we just would have been stopped out so one of the uh, key things you want to look at is uh, do I have a rule of one on the anchor chart one as well and has the short-term stochastic hook so if we go to this particular slide here uh, and this was actually from a, from another time uh, but same sort of scenario just here see how the um, uh, we had a potential uh, 34b just there uh, we actually over here we had a rule of one that was not a trade entry why because you didn't have a rule of one on the anchor chart one always be cautious when we're in a uh, consolidation zone what you can wait is for a fractal break so this is a little um, you can put in a little rectangle here so just here you would have been stopped by this tail up here so looking over at your anchor chart so this is point one note here how the uh, we're in a sideways range and the short-term stochastic did not hook you would have been stopped once again and you also had a mini bet the farm go to the next one here in this one here if we'd have taken this as a 34b now a couple of key points on this slide first of all look what was straight below us okay for 200 you know how I just had that loss I was I had some room to the 200 here our entry would have been right on the 200 so here if I'd have taken that that's a no-no anyway but if we look over at the anchor chart one we did not have the rule of one uh, or the hook until somewhere down here so that a couple of things would have kept us out of that be very careful in selling straight into a pivot straight into the 200 but the big thing here is does the short-term stochastic on the anchor chart also confirm okay so look I'll, I'll wind this up at a moment so uh, we would have had uh, well I would have had a no 
right the short term stochastic so let me just show you that again so just here let me pause this again okay so here it is it's set up so this is the trade I said I would have taken we always refer to our anchor chart one look over at the anchor chart one I had a rule of one set up thank you very much but then look at my short term stochastic see back here see how it hooked on the rule of one let's have a look at this when we pull back here see that right there and that is right here so note this candle closing there at uh, 73 but it actually would have closed there at 7350 which is actually uh, just just down below here but see there then we had the hook so this is where the anchor chart one can be invaluable okay we then come down it would have been a, a beautiful winner now remember I'm generally after seven steps now seven steps um, in this case is uh, 14 ticks a okay, 14 ticks is $70 per contract but where I'll, where I'll increase my target is when I'm targeting swing lows swing highs and the pivot now up here we've now reversed we're now making new higher highs and what are we then looking for higher lows and scalps to the long side now I just want to look show you this here right now the speed of the market so uh, right now it's now 207 and uh, so we're heading so what is that um, uh, about 8 a.m. in London so it's uh, 807 I think right now in London so we're now heading towards the uh, market open okay so um, uh, just be aware of it now look at this 2d here by the way so uh, we've got a nice 2d a target here would generally be the uh, the 89 EMA so you do have a, uh, a 2d with the target of the 89 EMA uh, our stop oh, and 8 a.m. of course um, that's uh, 9 a.m. in Frankfurt so you'll always see a lot more activity in the market around uh, this time so traders I will finish this video uh, so traders I'll see you uh, in the next video look it's about to hang up then and I just thought well I was telling you about the 2d and uh, then I thought well just to show you here it is just here uh, and as you can see it just turned into a t10 as well right so generally our targets the 89 we haven't quite reached that now because it's a counter trend trade this is where it's still very important even though we've probably got a good 80 percent so when you've got a good t uh, 2d you've probably got a good 75 80 percent you're going to come down and hit your 89 you still want to follow your money management rules okay that is if you're going to go to break even at five steps at seven steps whatever or how many ticks it is you still want to uh, follow that now as you've also heard me say some of your best entries and my chart is just frozen there for a moment some of your best t10 entries also um, uh, will be after major divergence so traders I now will I've got to reboot so I will um, now wrap this up and uh, I will see you on the next video thanks traders